Hi, current date 9th of October 2019, time 2118. Illustration on an Excel routine. Here we have an Excel workbook presenting time attendance data from a biometric device. Now once a new set of data is available from the biometric device, we will be copy pasting the new data to this worksheet. First of all, we will be removing the older records from this worksheet. Step 1 would be to unprotect the worksheet. Once the worksheet is unprotected, we need to remove the auto filter. Once the auto filter is removed, we come upon to the first row of the sheet. Next, we move on to the fourth row and select the complete row up to the column AM. Next, we hold on to shift and control and press the down arrow key once. This will select the complete set of records on the worksheet excluding the first three rows. Once the complete set of record is selected, we will press the delete button. Now we come back on the top of the worksheet and step down a few rows. Thus, the first three rows are visible and the rest of the records have been removed. Now, we will paste the new month's attendance data at the fourth row, first column. The new data from the biometric device must be in some file. Suppose the file is present by the name AGL001. We will select the file and open the file with option WPS Office. and spreadsheets selected. Once the file is opened, we should remove the unwanted columns. That is to say we need column C and column G. Rest of the columns may be deleted. So we can select A and pressing the control key then select B and D and E and F. Now we can right click and delete all these columns. Now the first and the second column are employee number and date time. Next we can select both the headers and auto filter both the columns. Now once the columns are auto filtered we can select to ascending order the employee number. Next we can select the current month's data by unselecting the entire period and then selecting the required month. 
suppose we select August and press OK now the entire list of records for August 2009 is listed we may select the complete records and copy paste to the other work sheet we can select the complete records by pressing shift and control and the down arrow key once this will select the entire set of records now we can press ctrl c to copy the records and come back to the previous worksheet and press ctrl v to paste the entire record list as the format for the date time is not visible but at this moment the copied cells are selected so we can reduce the size of the font to 8 points now the cell contents are visible next we can select the first column and center the data now we come to the third column and third row from here we select all the columns up to am and copy the selected rule control C now we double click over the right corner of the selected row now all the calculations have been copy pasted to the entire data set now we come to the top of the worksheet by pressing control home we need to copy the conditional formatting to the first two columns so we would be selecting the entire workbook sorry the worksheet by pressing ctrl a and now we select conditional formatting and manage rules here there are two rules which need to be modified as you can see the first third fourth fifth sixth seventh all of them the apply to section is showing 1973 but the second rule apply to column and the last rule apply to column is different so we will change it like this we will click upon the apply to column and delete and type 1973 similarly we come to the last row and apply to column we once again click upon it and delete all and type 1973 now everything matches